I think we're all familiar with the term bipolar. In the physical universe, we think of things like magnetic fields, things that have a north and a south pole, and depending on the characteristics of an object, they're attracted to one and repelled from the other, or vice versa. And in the realm of psychology, it describes a state of two extreme and opposite states of mind and moods. I think we're a little less familiar with the term unipolar, but unipolar things exist as well. The gravitational pull attracting things to a certain large object is a great example. That object has a center of gravity, and everything, really everything in the universe, certainly everything close to it, is pulled with a greater and greater degree of force toward that one center as it moves inward. I'm going to maintain that the metaphysical and moral universes are not bipolar. In fact, that would be rather scary. Imagining good and evil, heaven and hell, to be equal and opposite forces or destinations is frightening. I don't like our odds in that. But I believe that the moral and metaphysical universes are unipolar. And scripture makes a good case for this. In our reading this week from Paul's letter to the Philippians, he writes a pressing on toward the goal for the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. But he makes no mention of an equal and opposite calling from the other side. In fact, scripture never uses the very significant term call to describe the pull of something that is evil, something that is working against God, against heaven. The only call, the only goal, is a unipolar one. It is God and the heavenly place toward which he seeks to draw us and all of creation. Now, isn't this good news? It doesn't mean that there's no work for us. Objects can orbit something unipolar and never get any closer, or even move further away. There's definitely still work and an act of will involved on our part. But it does mean that the universe we inhabit has one and only one moral and metaphysical force pulling on us. It's a unipolar one, and it's pulling us inward, straight toward that heavenly goal, straight toward the heart of God.